I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love. Today I want to show you how to make ginger coffee using a French press. This is inspired by a recipe sent to us by one of our viewers, Diane Ica Rusita. So thank you, Diane. And we've had to modernize it a little bit because she actually roasts the ginger over hot coals, which we can't do here in the studio. Now this is really very easy. We're just going to be adding some ginger slices and palm sugar to our French press with our coffee. Now you're going to want to use palm sugar because it has a very different flavor than regular granulated sugar. And you can find this at the uh, organic section of your local supermarket. We'll be using five slices of fresh ginger root, one and a half teaspoons of the palm sugar, three and a half tablespoons of fresh ground coffee, and we're going to be using Blue Thunder by Clatch Coffee Roasters today. And that's all going to be added to 10 ounces of hot water. The first thing I'm going to do is get my hot water going, and I'm using a Capresso hot water kettle. So I'm just going to press the center button, and I don't want boiling water, I want it to be about 203 degrees, so once that gets boiling, I'm going to let it sit for a moment. So I've already peeled my ginger root, and I'm going to get that slice nice and thin, the five to six slices. And another thing that I've done off camera is I have um, put some hot water in my Espro French press just to, to get that preheated. I really like the Espro French press because it's um, double walled and thermal insulated so it holds the heat. So our water's ready, so the first thing we're gonna do is pour out the water that we have in the press that we were using to preheat it. Now first I'm gonna add the ginger slices, then the palm sugar, then our fresh ground coffee, Now slowly add the water to the French press and you're going to want to go about three quarters of the way full. Okay, now I'm going to put the lid on top just to keep everything hot. And we're going to let this sit for four minutes, but about halfway through I'm going to give it a little swirl. Okay, it's been two minutes, so we're just going to give this a gentle swirl and we're going to let it sit for another two minutes. So it's been four minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and press down on the, on the French press. You want to go really slowly. You know, another nice feature of the Espro French press is the double wall filter, and that's going to help keep any grounds out of your coffee. So we've put a cinnamon stick in our coffee mug, because in the Indonesian recipe, they actually boil the water, ginger root, um, and palm sugar with cinnamon sticks. And since we use the French press, we decided to just put the cinnamon stick right in the cup. Mmm, smells good. You know, this is really nice. That palm sugar gives it a different sweetness than I'm used to, and the ginger gives it a bit of a tea-like quality. Thank you so much to Diane over in East Java, Indonesia for this recipe. And if you have a recipe you'd like us to try, let us know. I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love. Thanks for watching. Whole Latte Love is your resource for everything coffee. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily updates on new coffee gear, plus hundreds of videos including how-tos, equipment reviews, recipes, expert technical advice, and more.